Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany where I have new videos every week about books and the geeky mom lifestyle. In today's video I'm going to be talking about my five favorite books that I read in quarter three of 2020. So I've been doing these videos every quarter where I pick a top five and what's been interesting about this is if you know my rating scale you know that I usually give six stars to a favorite of the year or a favorite of all time and in the first two quarters of the year I had to really cull down the list because I had so many books that got six stars. <laughs> For this quarter, that was not a problem. I did not do that. I had two months in a row where I didn't give any books six stars, and so I selected my two favorite five-star reads from those months to put on this list. But I do really love all five of the books that I'm gonna share today. Let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna make it quick because I gotta go pick up my kids from school. First up, we'll start with my two five-star reads. The first one is a nonfiction pick. This is Hood Feminism, Notes from the Women That a Movement Forgot by Mickey Kendall. As you can see, I tabbed the hell out of this. I really, really loved it. If you are looking for a thoughtful collection of essays on feminism and intersectional feminism from the perspective of a black woman, highly recommend this. I just think it's one of the best things that I've read this year, one of my favorite nonfiction books that I've read, and it definitely deserves a spot on this list. My other five-star read that I'm including is The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. I really loved this. It was such the sweet, soft fantasy romance between two middle-aged men, and it's got really cute children and it's very funny and I just loved it. This is like ooey gooey sweet. If you need that in your life I would definitely recommend checking it out and it's one that I've continued to recommend since reading it so this I felt like also very much deserved a spot on the list. Then the next three books are all ones that I did give six stars to. First up is Fledgling by Octavia Butler. This is a polarizing book, but I loved what it was doing. It's Octavia Butler's vampire novel, and I just thought it was so brilliantly crafted, purposefully provocative in very specific ways, and in conversation with a lot of complicated questions. So I won't say too much more about it here. If you ever want to see in-depth reviews, my Goodreads is linked down below and I do review everything that I read, but yeah, I was a fan of Fledgling. It was great. Then for two that I can't seem to shut up about because they're new releases and I really loved them, we've got a debut, The Year of the Witching by Alexis Henderson. Have I talked about this in several other videos? Yes, of course I have, but that's okay. I loved it. It was fantastic. This is a witchy horror novel that is so smart and dealing with a lot of big issues and just kept me completely hooked to the page. I also think it's such an impressive debut. I can't believe this is her first book and I cannot wait to see what else we get from her. So definitely a favorite of the year and for sure favorite of the quarter. And then lastly, nobody is going to be surprised, but Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. I have a standalone review of this one which I will link up above if you haven't seen it yet. I just loved this. It was great. It's another horror novel. It is a gothic horror novel and it just worked for me. I loved everything about what this was doing. I thought it was so smart. I yes it was great. So yeah. <laughs> is anybody surprised this made the list? No prob probably not because I talk about it a lot. So there you go. Those are my five favorite books that I read in this last quarter. I think this is an interesting collection. We've got two horror novels, a nonfiction, a soft romance, and a horror mystery, I guess, or something like that. That, that. that seems about right, given what's happened in the world in the last... <laughs> in the last quarter. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts or feelings on any of the books that I talked about today. And for question of the day, let me know what was one of your favorite books that you read in the last three months. So we're talking July, August, and September. Let me know in the comments down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.